Could this be what Subway is using for their tuna? I mean, maybe, who knows, right? So there's been a lot in the news about Subway's tuna. Is it real tuna? Which led a lot of people to wonder what the heck is in Subway's tuna fish sub. Now I wanted to use this opportunity to see if I can mimic tuna fairly easily with something like say, an oyster mushroom. And I also kind of wanted to do a product test on uh, the Good Catch Tuna. This just recently showed up in Whole Foods. Uh, this is by Chad and Derek Sarno, if you guys don't know them, from Wicked Healthy. I believe it's Wicked Healthy. Yeah, Wicked Health. So to complete this test, I ordered a veggie sub from Subway, so that way we have the Subway bread, uh, which, I mean, that is in a whole world of its own of not being considered bread. Uh, and uh, let's see if we can make a vegan tuna, a Subway tuna sandwich that still contains no tuna, but make it taste like a good tuna sandwich. I, I think it's gonna be pretty easy. I think both of these are gonna come out pretty good. Okay, so first things first, let's clean up and get our mushrooms ready to be like shredded. Uh, all I'm gonna do is just cut off the bottom of the oyster mushroom, which is just usually contains like some of that mushroom substrate. And then I've already wiped these down for the most part. Now, anytime there's like a big stem, not these, but anytime there's like a longer stem, I'm gonna kind of chop that stem like in half. I'm gonna just kind of push that over to the side uh, so that way I can kind of prep it just a little bit more because the stems aren't gonna shred very tuna-like on, on their own. You're gonna have to help, give them a little bit of help. Now we got our caps in the bowl here and then we have for the most part, most of the stems here. Uh, I'm just gonna give the stems like a, a kind of like a fine chop. That's just because the process that we're gonna be using for shredding these, it's not gonna really shred the stems too well. Uh, so I just kind of want them to be smaller bits and, and they'll, the whole process is gonna work its way out to where we have a pretty, um, a pretty tuna-like texture in the end. I'm, I'm pretty confident in that. I think these chunks look really good for the stems. We'll throw those in with our caps. And then let's get to shredding, getting some more tuna-like textures. Now, you could totally shred these by hand just by sitting there and just peeling apart. I kind of want this to be a little bit quicker of a process. So let's just go ahead and add this to the bowl of a sand mixer. And if, like I said, you could, you could do this by hand. And I'm just gonna throw this on high and let it roll for probably, you know, five minutes or so. It should kind of tear everything up. Okay, this has been going for like five minutes and it looks great. I feel like we have some nice shreds, some really good like mushroom shreds which should come together as like a nice like salad-like thing, like a nice tuna salad, uh, once it's all mixed properly and done properly. So at this point, all I'm gonna do is just add this mixture here into a saucepan. I'm gonna fill it up with some water, maybe just like two cups of water or so, and about a teaspoon of sea salt, and then I'm gonna use kelp granules. Now this stuff here, I feel like really, really imparts a nice seafood flavor into like a broth. Uh, just something very mild, which is kind of tuna is kind of mild. Uh, so I'm just gonna use probably about a teaspoon of this stuff uh, in to kind of impart those flavors. Uh, but I am gonna put it into like a little packet, like a little kind of like tea strainer. So that way these kelp granules don't get into the mushrooms themselves. So I don't wanna have a bunch of kelp granules in my, in my tuna. Uh, the other thing that we're gonna add is about a tablespoon of olive oil. We want to get some of that fat imparted into these mushrooms as well. Okay, so our little fishy mushrooms have been boiling for about 10 minutes. I think that's enough to impart some of that seafood-like flavor. So at this point, all we're gonna do is just strain these through a strainer, get out all the liquid, kind of press anything out as much as we can, get them as dry as we possibly can. We're gonna throw them on a baking sheet, throw them in the oven with the door a little open, with the oven on its lowest setting, and let these dry for about an hour to two hours. We want to dehydrate hydrate them uh, most of the way through before we move on to this pro next process. We're not looking for little jerky bits. We don't want them that dehydrated. We just want them to have about the same kind of consistency as canned tuna. Okay, this is looking good. It's dehydrated down to, you know, a nice wet, but slightly drier mixture, not as not as mushroom-like, you know? It has, it has a little bit more of, of a density to it. You can see, how much we've lost, like how much, you know, that was a huge package of mushrooms and now we just have this enough for a sandwich. <laughs> I'm gonna mix this up now. We're gonna include one more ingredient before we make like the salad part. And all that's gonna be is just a little bit of cornstarch, probably just like half of a teaspoon. Cause right now, you know, the mushrooms, they have nothing that's gonna like bind them together. And in like real tuna, you know, there's like proteins and things like that, that kind of like, 
kind of help them stick a little bit. Now, luckily, Subway's tuna is very, very basic. It's just tuna and mayo. And then I've read that some Subway locations add just a few drops of lemon juice. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do some of the Hellman's Vegan Mayo, which, like I said, the Hellman's Vegan Mayo shares a lot of ingredients with its Subway Mayo, like non-vegan mayo counterpart. So I think that's gonna make a pretty nice taste that's similar to you know your Subway tuna. And then a few drops of lemon juice, just to bring up some more of those flavors. And this is looking awesome, so we're just gonna throw a cover on it, throw it in the fridge just to chill, get some of that chill, allow that mayo to kind of mix in with those mushrooms. And now let's open up our Good Catch tuna. I'm really excited to see this. Let's make the same tuna salad using the Good Catch tuna. Now, I've tried some other vegan tunas in the past that I wasn't like a huge fan of, so I'm really excited to see how this is. Um, I don't know if this is like, it's packed in water, but I don't know if it needs drained or not. So there's nothing to specifically drain. There is some like, almost like oils in this, but the look of it's really nice. I will say there's a strong, strong pea protein smell. Hopefully that doesn't kind of come through in the flavor because that's gonna be hard to get over. But the look of this is really, really nice. So let's just go ahead and make that same tuna salad consistency with the vegan mayo and a pinch of lemon juice. Now that brine that this was packed in definitely made it a lot more runny. And the mayo isn't exactly sticking to the good catch tuna. That's not bad, but just right off the bat, the consistency is a little bit different. I'm actually a little bit happier with my mushroom consistency, just in the appearance of the tuna salad. Cover this up, we're gonna throw this in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes, allow all these ingredients to mix together and allow these to kind of like, just get a nice chill on them. Okay, so let's make our sandwich. We're just gonna use a Subway veggie sandwich with nothing on it, just the basics, the basic veggies that you get with Subway. Let's start off with our mushroom. This is looking really good. It literally is spooning on the sandwich just like real tuna would. Oh. I just can't wait to try this. Now let's go to the good catch. The good catch has still, it hasn't soaked in that mayo. It's still looking good. I still think, I still have faith that this is gonna be a really good tuna replacement. Cutting these in half, baby, what do you think? They both look awesome. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they look really good. I'm really excited. So let's get moving with this one first. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I love this. Do you think it's tuna? It tastes like tuna. I think it has a nice tuna taste, but I do think there's a little bit of an inconsistency with the texture. Maybe. Because of the way you have it, like, like when I eat it as a sandwich, like with everything, I, I really just like think it, it tastes like tuna. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. just a little bit different. It's not as meaty as right. tuna would be. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not as, um, it does have a little bit of a meaty chew. It does have a meaty chew. Not as much as tuna. But this is really good. Mm. Thank you, baby. Well, mm -hmm. I don't wanna get full. Between one out of 10, 10 being tuna, one being a mushroom. I, an eight, like it's very close. Okay, I love that. I mean, I, I would give it like a seven or an eight. You know, I'd give it a seven or eight for sure. Here we go. Good catch. Okay. Mm. Dang it. What do you think? I wanna hear your opinion, then I'll tell mine. Yeah, it's not as flavorful as the mushroom one. No. But it's, so it's more of a mild. It tastes like tuna, like it bites like tuna. Yep. Maybe I don't have enough in here, but um, I, I also think that this is tuna. I like the mushroom better. My big thing right off the bat, and I just, I for some reason, maybe it's just because I got the smell, then you didn't. Um, mine has that like very strong pea protein smell. It would be well, like, doesn't. oh, see, I just can't take it. Like it almost, it almost feels like the old school Beyond Burger of tuna. Like there's definitely like the dog food type of aftertaste there. And it just hit me really, really hard. Mm. Texture wise, 10 out of 10. Doesn't taste like tuna. Mm -mm. No, and I'm wondering if oh, maybe. Yeah. Or definitely has like a fake meat aftertaste. There's a fake meat aftertaste, a really strong fake meat aftertaste. I'm almost wondering if I could have like washed it off mm, or. We got three bags of it. I'm gonna keep using it. Yeah. It's good on the sandwich, it's just not good by itself. Like if I had like, you know how on a salad they put a scoop of tuna on it? Like, yeah, that'd be rough. I wouldn't like that, but on a sandwich, it's good. Yeah. I wonder if some of their more flavored ones might have less of that mild taste or less of that like protein taste. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. That's it. Tuna. Tuna. Tuna.